Hey young guys, it's Luke Mead here and today in this video I'm going to be walking you through how to create a Facebook ad report for your clients that you're doing as an agency. Let's get straight into it guys. So today in this video we're going to start off in Facebook Business Manager and Ads Manager within that. You can see we've got some Facebook ad campaigns that have completed in here and we're going to be creating a report on one of these ad campaigns to send off to our client. Now, we're gonna do that by going to the old tool section and finding the part of Business Manager that says, what am I looking for? It's a bit silly. We're looking for ads reporting. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Now, once we're in here, we're gonna, oh, you goober. Turn off your ad blocker guys, in case you haven't already. There we go. Now we're gonna hit create report. Facebook gives us a few options of which accounts we wanna choose from. I'm gonna choose my account and call it Facebook ads report for client and hit create. Now from here, we can do a heap of things we can create and adjust our tables to suit our needs in here. Now this looks all a bit complicated in the beginning, but let's start by breaking it down. In the right hand side here, we can customize our table so we can have a look at what ad sets we're going by clicking the breakdown section here. And we can choose to include campaign, ad set name, age. And you can see how this works by if I click on the age Actually, wait a minute. I'll show you this works in a minute. We'll go to metrics first, and you can see that you can adjust the metrics you want to show, whether it's amount spent, impressions, reach, frequency. They're all appearing on the top bar here if you select them. And if we scroll across, we can see more of them. So the first thing you really want to do when creating a report for your client is decide what metrics you're going to be looking at. In this case, let's choose the most important ones. So the amount spent, Probably not the impressions necessarily in this video. The reach for sure, the results for sure. Delivery, not important. Frequency, not so important. We can also have a look at attribution setting, no. Cost per result, no. And schedule, we definitely don't need. We can also search up here if we're gonna find it a bit faster. we go and we can turn that off and there we go now you can see we've got three important settings or three important metrics here and we've got our breakdowns here now let's adjust the filter here and you can see in this filter bar we've got the time so we can look at this month last month and we can select a campaign now if we clear the filters all our can campaigns fall into this table but if we change the time to maximum and select a campaign and look at lead generation and click campaign name contains lead generation you can see there's a few lead generation ads so let's pull in this ad here we can copy that delete that and put in that put in the name you can see that campaign is now pulling through. So now let's have a look at the breakdowns. So we can see in the breakdowns, we've got the campaign name selected. So we're always gonna show the campaign name. We can turn that off and hide that. We can have the ad set showing. So we can hide that if we want and just have the whole campaign. And then we can break that down by other things like age, gender, so on and so forth, as you already understand. Let's hit age and we can have a look at how each age is performing. Now that is the basics of creating a cool ad. Let's say this is what we want to share with our clients. Now how do we go about doing that? There's a few options we can do. We can first off hit save and that's going to save this report in my Facebook ads account manager under this name. We can then also hit save as if we want to save it as a custom name 
and create a duplicate and have multiple versions of it, just like you have in Word and Microsoft Excel and that sort of thing. We can also share this report with anyone else out there. So we can copy a link if we want and paste that to share it. Now they will have to have a Facebook account to access this data and look at it. So that's probably not the best way to do it. In my opinion, the best way to do it is to have a look at here and go export. And we can export the data in a few options. We can look at it in an XLSX, which is an Excel format or a CSV or as an image. In this case here, let's have a look what an image looks like. I don't think it looks brilliant, if I'm honest. I prefer the CSV. The image itself just takes a screen capture. So I would recommend you go export and do it as a CSV and include the summary row, which is that bottom row. And that way it's a bit easier to look at and a bit prettier. Now, we can also do some funky things with this by going save and exiting out of that report and having a look at the report that we've got in here. So you can see my other reports that I have got created in this account. We can then go into here, select the report, and there's even more options of what we can do with it. So we can go in, duplicate it if we want, and create another report from it, and duplicate it. That way we can have multiple reports on very similar things. And that is the overall of how you create a Facebook ads report. Let's have a look at the CSV that we've generated from this report. And you can see as it opens up in numbers. Here we go. This is the data that's been pulled in. You can see we've got the end date and the start date. We've got the amount spent, the reach and the age. It's pretty cool. Now, and then you can then use this to share this information with people outside your organization or from here we can go and start to create tables using this data and we can insert graphs and the likes using this data there you go you can see we can start to play with this in a really comfortable format like numbers and excel which makes it really powerful so that's how I recommend you go about creating a Facebook ad reports for your clients. It's super easy and it works really, really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. I'll speak to you all soon. Ciao, ciao.